I'm making the best superhero mod in Minecraft and I need your help. Have you ever been frustrated about the lack of customizability in superhero mods, forcing you to wear a specific suit for the powers? In this mod, the powers are acquired in unique ways and there are over 469 billion super suit combinations to design and customize. Along with that, we have an avid community of add-on creators helping expand this idea to infinity. Stay tuned to become part of the greatest superhero community in Minecraft history. Hello guys, welcome back to Superhero Plus, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to access the Speed Force. To access the Speed Force, we first have to become a speedster ourselves. First, we have to make the experimental vaccine. Step one is to put an enchanted golden apple in this brewing stand with these water bottles to make serum bases. Then, like last episode, we have to get the green light mixture, which is crafted like this. After we get that serum base, we're going to throw the green light mixture in here to make our experimental vaccine. And there we go, experimental vaccine. Now, we have to put the experimental vaccine in the middle, two syringes on top and bottom, and two sugar on the left and right to make two Velocity X syringes. Now, you can inject yourself with Velocity X by right-clicking, and it will give you temporary speed 3 for one minute. If you want to get permanent super speed, you have to get struck by lightning while under the effects of Velocity X. So we have our speed 3 right now, we right-click with the Titan Killer or get struck by lightning in any other way, and now we have super speed. With super speed, we can run up one block ledges, and we slowly accelerate the longer we run for. So I'm going to try to break the sound barrier. We can also run on water. We're going to try to break the sound barrier. And there we go. Once we break the sound barrier, we are now invisible. And we have to maintain this running for about 30 seconds to obtain a new ability called Dimensional Travel. There we go. We got Dimensional Travel. Let's see if we can run even longer to get speed 2. Once we upgrade, that means that we'll be able to accelerate even faster than normal with speed 2. And, uh, I don't know if you guys just saw that, but those are tachyons floating behind me that we're gonna have to harvest for later. We're on the top of the nether to demonstrate the next feature. When we break the sound barrier with dimensional travel, we'll be able to teleport between all dimensions, uh, most dimensions. And, uh, if we right-click this, we get teleported to the end. And we can basically go between dimensions without the use of portals anymore. After about 75 seconds of running, we have unlocked Speed 2, which allows us to accelerate faster, our base speed is faster, and we can run through walls. After running through walls for an extended period of time, it'll eventually cause you to stop sprinting, which disables your speed, but it'll also slow you down. And you only run through walls when you are sprinting, so if you don't want to break anything, you can just hold W normally, and you still go pretty fast. But if you want to sprint, right through the wall. Now, in order to access the speed force, we have to craft this item called the Tachyon Amulet. It requires four enchanted golden apples, one Velocity X syringe, and Tachyon Bottle. A Tachyon Bottle is obtained by harvesting the Tachyons of a speedster that spawn when they break the sound barrier. So let's build up speed right here by jumping back and forth and wait for some Tachyons to spawn. I heard one. Right here. There we go. That was a Tachyon Particle. That's one right there too. And once you harvest it, it can be used to access the speed force. Once you obtain the Tachyon Amulet, you have to run for approximately 75 seconds, just like when you were leveling up to level 2 for speed. And, uh, you have to be holding the Tachyon Amulet while you do so. I actually just got reminded something very important. You can't actually level up speed in the Nether or the End, because, uh, I figured running on the top of the Nether would be way too easy. So you actually have to do these level up quests in the Overworld. So let's get the Tachyon Amulet. Let's build up some speed. Build up that speed, build up that speed, build up that speed. There we go. Alright, and let's run. There we go. After a long while of running, we unlocked the speed force. Now, once you have speed force unlocked, which is pretty much the same thing as having speed level 3, you can right click the speed force travel item. Alright, we are now in the Speed Force. We have blue lightning particles everywhere, static particles everywhere, and lightning striking all around us. But, 
the Speed Force is just an infinite plane of existence where you can run forever. Once you break the sound barrier in the Speed Force, just like you did in the overworld, you will be able to use the Speed Force travel item once again, right click it, and you'll be able to teleport to any chords in the overworld that you want. So we're going to teleport to 69420, uh, 4, uh, 420, 69420. Warp. And as you can see, we are at those coordinates, and we are falling from the sky to our deaths. There was water here, that's incredibly convenient. But yes, the Speed Force gives you basically infinite travel capabilities, because you can now just use the Speed Force to teleport wherever you want. Now, if you want to make a Speedster suit, the first thing you need to do is craft this sewing machine. It is crafted with 5 iron, 1 string, and 3 of any planks. You right click on the ground, and it is used like a villager work table. So I'm going to place down a villager, and he's going to take the job of tailor. Now the tailor sells any type of armor template that this mod has to offer, which means all of these right here. We are going to continue to reset the trades until we get the speed force trim that we are looking for. I don't remember- yes, speed force is a level 1 trim, so we need 1 iron ingot and 8 emeralds. Certain trims that you guys might want are going to require you to level up your villager's uh, profession level. But there we go, the Speed Force Trim. Once you have four Speed Force Trims, my personal favorite is to make the black and yellow reverse flash suit with yellow super suit armor and four netherite ingots. So I'm going to place down a smithing table, throw all of these in there. And there we go, we are King Reverse Flash right now. And I have a crown on, but you can see under my crown there's those little flash wings under it. I want to try to create Savitar, so we're going to take the Speed Force template, and then we're going to also mix and match it with, I think... Now I'm trying to think, I think Submariner on the pants would probably look good for Savitar. And then Savitar's face, I'm thinking Blue Beetle. Or, let's go with Fiend, which is Daredevil. And then for his pants, or for his boots... Let's go with Flash Boots. Alright, so we're going to try to make Savitar, and we're going to use Vibranium as our coloring for this. So let's put the Helmet there, and the Fiend Trim there. Uh, good. And then let's put the Speedster on the chest plate, so we have that little lightning bolt. Let's put Submariner on the pants, that's going to create that checkered pattern. And then let's put the Wings on the boots, uh, for Savitar's boots. And, uh... <laughs> this doesn't really look like Savitar that much. We don't have a specific Savitar trim, but I wanted to experiment. What kind of speedster suit do I want? For the chest, I'm gonna go with the black super suit with the vibranium lightning trim. For the pants, I kind of want to see what Golden Avenger looks like with the vibranium. That is cool looking pants. Let's take out my outer layer. Let's keep the crown on though, because I like the aesthetic of the crown. But that's all from me. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to see more, hit that like button. Version 3 of Superhero Plus should be done pretty soon. We're more than halfway there, uh, but I have a lot of bug fixes to go through before I can release the version. If you guys want to see an early version of Superhero Plus's latest update coming out sooner rather than later, uh, how about we get this video to 200 likes and I'll make that happen. Anyways, that's all for now. If you want to appear in a showcase, consider becoming a level 3 channel member. But if you don't want to be a level 3 channel member, that's perfectly okay. There are two lower levels that give you exclusive videos, exclusive vlogs, and some of my old privated videos that no one else has seen. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.